Hey all, it's Wolfren here and I have treated myself to a new Tech 10 battleship and it's the Typhoon 2. So you've seen me do things, my you know, most popular ship I've been using is the Dominix and I've um, played a fair bit in the Raven but I've decided to try myself on the Typhoon 2, something different, see what it's like and I thought I'd give you overall what my impressions are. I've just been doing some PvE in it and um, I'm going to show you the fit I'm using the various fits you could use uh, tell you the strengths and weaknesses and then I'm going to set up a, uh, a newer PvP fit because that's, that's where I think I'm going to use this ship the most uh, but anyway straight to the fitting so this is the fit I've just been using um, I've got decent enough skills in large missiles I get more DPS if I got better skills um, I'm you know I'm an expert skills for most battleship commands uh, and all that stuff, but the weapon skills are not as high because I've, I've got a lot of skills in drones. So, um, large missile is 453, uh, and large upgrade is 45, and I'm going to do the expert shortly. Um, I'm just working on something else at the moment. But, you know, that's good enough at the moment. It, it'll get a little bit better. Um, so, PVE, uh, the real bonuses, you've got to look at the bonuses on the ship. Are crucially the um, activation time that gives you DPS boost and um, your explosion velocity which means that you can actually do damage to smaller ships which helps immensely and you get a scan res bonus so you know it's fine but really it's it's these boosts um, and I'll get a little boost again when I go up um, from the large torpedo operation which I've not done yet um, so that meant I've put on large rapids, which means I'm doing a lot of damage. Um, I'm applying a lot of damage, which is often a problem with the large missiles. And for this PVE setup, I've put on an armor tank. Um, if you look at the defenses, your shield is slightly higher than your armor, but it makes a huge difference on cap, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so I'm an armor setup here. Um, two night arm large armor wrappers uh, and two um, armor hardeners I've got you need some sort of um, prop mod after burn is probably best for PVE in order to close distances because on the large rapids you're, you're not like the Raven you're not getting a range boost so you I'm at 32.87 so um, you probably get a bit more of that with high skills but you can see you're still pretty short range on it, so you've got to be able to close the gap. It also means you've got to be a bit tanky. Uh, I've put on a ballistic to help out. Uh, mid slots, uh, the two webs just help even more. And then I've got two large um, energy nos, and that gives me 17 minutes of cap, which is almost cap stable actually, because I'm not going to run the afterburner the whole time. I may not be running the um, ballistic all the time. Uh, and I've just thrown in some hammerheads to help deal with the smaller ships for the PVE. Um, in terms of rigs, I've got two targeting rigs um, and one CCC rig. And then I've got two, uh, I've got a calefaction, that's a straight up damage bonus. And then the two bay loading accelerators. Um, so that's the PVE. At the end of this video, I'm going to show a bit of PVP, a bit of PVE. So if you want to see how it does in Sweet Poison, you can have a look. Frankly, it's not the greatest. Um, it's okay, but I do need to warp out occasionally to go and repair. Um, so it couldn't full on tank, uh, and I was doing it with my Oracle 2 as well. So we, you know, it was pretty decent clear time, but I don't, I, in preference to my Dominix, no, I, I don't prefer it to my Dominix. There's a bit more management involved, you've got to be a bit more careful about your position and everything. So, I mean, so for storylines, no, um, I used this in doing the um, TAC-10, not story missions, these missions, um, it was really good, but with a different fit in these missions, I didn't mean to do that, never mind, um, they didn't pay very much, but I could basically AFK, uh, and I, that for that one I used a different fitting, I in fact put the torpedoes on. So yeah, much better damage. Um, in fact, I could, with um, uh, a slightly, and I used using I think slightly different fit. 
in do, in terms of doing these missions, yeah, I was using a slightly different fit. I am. I could slap on uh, three ballistics. So I had three ballistics, one guidance, uh, one large shield, and the afterburner. And I was doing hot. Um, three. I could do three thousand DPS. Um, I'll show you a screenshot of that. So that's what's possible with the torps. The problem with the torps is the range. I mean, it's 12.7, so you constantly got to try and close range. Although when I was hitting battleships um, in the PVE, I was doing you know, 10, 11, thousand a strike. Um, running the torps, you just could not get the same on smaller ships, and so it actually I think it was slightly worse than running the rapids even though it's a much larger DPS figure because the rapids could actually hit the smaller ships better. If I put I, I can put on um, again the range fit was lackluster the problem was damage application it just wasn't that great it was okay but it's not it's not that great so the, I find the um, rapids in the best fit um, I didn't change anything here so that's the fit I'll use for PV E, if you've got better missile skill, it may well be worth it. It's um, it's okay. I just don't feel I sort of got <laughs> got this thing where I just doesn't feel tanky enough, um, and it doesn't feel like it does. It does a lot of damage, but it doesn't apply it as well. So I'm not convinced. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the PVP build. This is the PVP fit I've gone for. Um, now I am shield tanking in this because it's the level of shields um, and it's all to do about percentage increases. I want to be on the shields because your shields are larger. As you see my tank is larger because the shield extenders add extra shield 4266 and then when I use it it adds an additional 17% of the shield so it's a percentage increase so you want to use the largest starting figure you can. Um, again, I'm still using the rapids. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm using the rapids, but my um, but the damage is down to a thousand. Uh, it's actually 956 because a lot of this is actually survivability, application survivability. So I, I, you could go glass cannon fit. I could put on three ballistics and you know, apply two and a half. I think it works out with the rapids about two and a half thousand DPS. That's great. But you've got to, so you've got to. That means you've got to take your target down before those ballistics run out. You've got 60 seconds to do your damage and get out. And really, this is about I want to take on larger targets with this. So um, this is to, I've built this a lot more for survivability. So again, rapids because the damage application is the best of the rapids. Mid slots, I'll keep it simple. It's a, a web, uh, an imperial large nose that helps with the cap because it puts me about seven minutes which is pretty good for a fight uh, and two scrams I'm gonna be close this is not a ranged battle in this ship I want to get in close hold the target still while I just hit them with everything I've got um, I've put on some medium drones I could put on some larges um, I probably will if we just throw on some oh, these are ogres I've got um, yeah it's slightly more DPS I mean that's not the drone damage I'm doing. Um, the range on these is 33, that's my skills. Um, I've got two C type hardeners. Uh, these are Caldari large extenders. I've not put on the next one up, the protector, because it's 100 mil plus for each one. So I'm not going to put on them, whereas these are 5 mil each. So I, that's my decision that I've made in respect to that. Uh, C type large micro warp drive that's in so I can close or keep close to my target. My hope is that basically, if I can land on the target, I can put both scrams on, I can put on the web and the NOS, um, and I can they basically become immobilized uh, or sufficiently immobilized that I can keep up with them. So I don't need to use this because if I unfit it, you'll see. It. In fact, I'm cap stable if I unfit that, so I'm not you know having I'm 11 minutes. So um, it's 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 pretty good. Um, 
on cap. It's not great, but it's good. It's good for PvP. Uh, in terms of rigs, that's where the main change is. I've kept the same, got two targeting, one CCC. I've had to drop damage rigs in favour of defensive rigs. So I've got a, a shield boost. Remember, I'm trying to boost that number. So I've got more shields, 30%. Um, and I've got an anti-EM screen, so I can plug the resistance problem that you do get with shields. Um, so I've got EM resistance up. Um, I've also got a nano core on if it shows it. That just gives me the straight 12% missile bonus. You can. I could change it to something else if I wanted. Um, obviously, you put cannons on this apparently. <laughs> That's just the core. Um, but I don't really need the flight velocity boost. If I had a shield boost, maybe I might think about it. But I'll take I'll take the 12%. Obviously, you had a bigger, you know, more expensive nano core. Again, I'm not looking. For, well, I'm saying I'm not looking to spend a lot. The ship itself is expensive, um, and so it's probably worth bringing out with other things. But this is, I feel, a pretty decent fit um, for what I want to use it for. So if I'm going to dock it, I'll show you what it's like defensively hot. So they've got no offensive modules on it. Um, but if you put on three ballistics. Um, and went with a fit like that, like three ballistics, one hardener, one shield booster or shield extender, you can do two and a half thousand damage. But the question is, can you survive long enough um, for the time? Uh, and then you're also doing about 1500 damage um, cold. Um, so if I go hot with um, the shield um, boosters, I'll put on the microwave warp drive because I've actually got a decent um, speed. Uh, and you see my defences jumped to 235,000 um, effective hit points. Um, not bad resistances, you know, you could probably bump these up in some way. Um, you know, cap is, as I said, 7 minutes. And navigation speed is pretty decent on the micro warp at 1200. So all in all, pretty happy, but I haven't used it yet in PvP, so let's see what happens. So I kept this first clip in because it's an example of what to do, of what not to do, what happens if you panic. I warp in what I thought was going to be a warp in onto this Caracal and I'm really far away. So I'm, I chance it, I basically, <laughs> they're not paying attention, maybe I'll get in there. I mean, I'm, I need to close the distance by, you know, what's that, 55 kilometers. So, you know, he's going to get away if he sees me. Um, don't really know what he's thinking. Uh, so the micro warp takes me to it's a decent speed with the micro warp. I mean, you know, this is a battleship and I'm heading towards 1200 meters a second um, with it, so that's pretty decent. Uh, closing the gap. I actually thought he was just going to be messing with me and just warp away. You know, as I get to about 40. But it looks like he's targeting me. Red boxes me, and that's the mistake. Don't take the crime timer. You know, big thing in, in pirating a low sec is if you can get your opponent to take the crime timer, it gives you an advantage. Um, so you know, here we are, locked in. I start volleying, volleying my missiles. I'm still out of range of my missiles. And if anything, he's got a micro warp. I think he can probably keep his distance. There you go, you see as the ballistics start to hit. Not bad, take the shield out pretty quick. You can see he takes suddenly a lot of damage. And I think that causes a little bit of panic. And he warps. The thing is, he's got the crime timer, um, and so he warps. He warps to a 
I think he walks to a station or a gate. I know that because I get the kill mail. So I've kept this clip in because it's really to show that you can't be 100% perfect every time. And this is a mistake I make. Um, I'm based in to this, to what I think is going to be an easy kill. So this time I've nailed my landing. You know, it's, no, maybe I didn't actually. It's a bit further out than I would have wanted. Maybe I'd run disruptors. I don't really know. Oh, I quite like the eye notion of using scrams. Um, I close this. He doesn't warp off. Um, and that's partly my fault. I got my approach set wrong. So in fact, uh, when I said approach, it pulled away. That's not the mistake. The mistake was continuing this fight when I knew full well I shouldn't have. So it's not bad, I'm easy, I strip the shields of the Brutex in no time at all, it's an armor tank, I mean, but it does show, you know, I can do a fair bit of damage on my volleys. Um, but immediately, I mean, look, he's tanking the, the damage without any real difficulty. Warp drive active. And this is really the problem. You see, I'm doing less than, well, what I'm doing, you know, a thousand DPS. So this is A, a very tanky Brutex that's um, sustaining this. Uh, you know, but to a certain point, I know he's probably calling for help. Uh, and that's pretty much what happens. This, you know, I'm such an idiot. I should have just, I should have abandoned the fight. When I could have, I mean, they could have still chased me down in systems. I would have had a crime time of five minutes, and moving a typhoon two around quickly isn't going to happen easily. But it's doable between safe spots, etc. Um, but yeah, so I thought I could do it, uh, and I'm going to leave this in because, you know, I'm not perfect by any means. <laughs> I lost my fair, fair, fair share of ships, and yeah, you're going to learn to get better at PvP if you do it and you make your mistakes. Um, I do think I start breaking the tank here. Uh, at some point, I, I can tell you now, I do not break his tank. I don't know whether he's messing with me or he's got great cap management, whatever. He can tank me the whole time um, without any difficulty. So um, I'll cut this so it's a little bit quicker in terms of the fight and, uh, and you can watch me slowly die. <laughs>
pretending that I don't It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up Know who you are every time I Typhoon 2, maybe not for me. Anyway, I left that in so people can see. I'm not, you know, these things happen. <laughs> you know, fly expensive stuff, you've got to be ready to lose it. Anyway, thanks for watching.